So, the, so they're okay. they're they're yeah. getting comfortable in crypto. Oh yes, the government is completely comfortable with crypto. That's that's you 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 act like that's a normal thing. <laughs> <laughs> it is like here it's it's like and they love it. <laughs> so Wait, so, so I'm just curious, go- actually. So like yeah. if I'm walking around in El Salvador, like what percentage of people can I pay in crypto? Like if I go to a store, can I pay in crypto or no? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. What's like, that look like? Like every store a... or like 5% of stores? I would say it's probably 90% of the stores except yeah. crypto. Damn. How, uh, so You could go to the supermarket complete... to the grocery store and, and just transfer through your wallet or pay in a in a in like a sort of POS system, um, but a crypto one. And, and yeah. And there's also so, ATMs all over the place. So, so describe real quick, and, and again, remember, we're, we're from the dark ages. We're only, you know, I'm from the United States and, and Stefan's from, from Switzerland. So we don't, we don't have any idea how that works. So is it, is it you can use whatever wallet you want, or is everyone kind of on like a, a single, you know, single type of app that they're using, which we know happens in some cases? Everybody is on a Chivo wallet. And the, okay. the way they, the, the reason they did it is to kind of subsidize sort sort of the, the fees that come with Bitcoin. Um, so they're kind of running their own lightning network on on the on the wallet to make the payments faster and everything. But it's fully decentralized still. So they didn't put in any centralized components because I know that's what Russia was looking at for a while where it was kind of just their own wallet that they were custodying it effectively. Is it custody in the wallet or is it a non-custodial wallet? It's a non-custodial wallet as far as I'm uh, I'm aware. No, that's so super cool. The, the benefit of using the Chivo wallet, which is the, the, the wallet that the government um, created, is that there's no transaction fees, N- none at all. It doesn't matter if you send $1. It doesn't matter if you send $10,000. There is no transaction fee. And you can also convert within the, the wallet from dollars to Bitcoin. So you, as the, as the commerce, as, if I was the grocery store, and here comes Stefan from Switzerland and he wants to pay me in Bitcoin. You can pay in Bitcoin, but I want to receive dollars. I immediately receive dollars in my wallet. And from the same <clears throat> Chivo wallet, I can transfer those funds in dollars to my bank account. So again, you're, 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 we're, we're kind of getting a glimpse into the future here. Um, and it's, it's very interesting. So how does, how does...